This is the Densmore number four typewriter from about 1900. Uh, this machine is a successor to the Densmore number one. Uh, over the number one, it has several different improvements. The main being more ball bearings, any escape mechanism, and in the carriage assembly. Go to the back of the machine, back here. You'll notice there is a small lever on the back of the machine. This lever here is what controls the escapement. If you watch the lever, push it one way. Oh, what is it? Oh, that way. Now, we move the escapement. We move the position of the escapement feed the escapement dogs. And now, we went from typing in regular mode to extended typing. And now it advances to space with every key stroke and carriage press. I mean, space bar press. Now, we went back to normal typing. There's extended typing, and then also, one more setting. Fast typing. This setting is only for use with expert typists. Alright, set it back to normal. This here is your right margin. It's mounted on the back of the machine on the mainspring. This is a little unusual compared to, say, more modern machines, but this machine dates to about circa 1900, and this is how it was on the number one. It's just continued over with the number four. The machine has a shift lock toggle more than just a lock because if so if you hit the shift key, carriage moves, if you hit this, it reverses that action. Now it's in capital mode and you shift to lowercase. The machine has automatic ribbon reverse. So when it gets to the end of the ribbon, there's a little mechanism that will shift the ribbon and bring it back to the other side. The carriage on this machine lifts up with the tab over here to view your work while typing. You notice there's a small pointer. That pointer corresponds with the scale on both the front of the machine and back here on the carriage. The little pointer will flip away and flip right to the print point underneath the carriage. The carriage also can be removed from the machine like this. There's the plate and assembly, and the carriage. Both are easily removed from the machine. Once that's done, we can have a look at the type bars. It uses a wide ribbon, and each type bar has ball bearings on its mechanism. You can also see each type bar uses a sub lever to push the type bar, not pull it. Type bars are pushed, not pulled, and this results in very, very little wear to the type bars. On the other side of the machine here, you'll find the left hand margin and the serial number. The serial number on this machine is, two, is 25,295. This machine has line space settings for one, two, and three spaces. It has a locking paper release and a locking margin release. You hit this for margin release and unlock to unlock it. Some of these machines have a backspacer, mine is missing. Uh, that's basically the basic overview of the machine. It also has a carriage position adjustment. You can adjust the position of the carriage on the print point. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and give you a small typing demonstration with this machine.
you enjoyed this video. It brings me great pleasure to share these machines with the community and anyone that may be interested in them. I would have to say, in my opinion, this is one of the best made of the Upstrike typewriters. Being of its very solid construction, this machine is very heavy. Much, much heavier than any conventional typewriter of the time. And let's, one more, one more little shot here. We're going to demonstrate that dual spacing mechanism. Put it into dual space mode. Bring it back to the beginning of the line. Extended typing. All right. Thank you everyone for watching and have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your day.